Hey chickies, okay today we are doing a cute penguin family. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. Oh, and by the way, it's really long, so go and get a cup of tea. You're going to need it. <laughs> now the base for this is a gradient, so I'm going to show you how to use liquid palisade. This is a new liquid painter's tape or liquid nail painter's tape, and all you do is painted around the skin of oh, the skin around your nails it's just like using the Elmer's glue or um, some of the other there's other products just like this on the market this one I find is a little easier to use simply because when you go to take it off it comes off in one easy go now just a little warning it does smell a bit it's kind of got a bit of a funky smell but it's not that bad that I wouldn't ever use it to be honest uh, I paint my nails all the time I use non-acetone remover which is still kind of stinky even though it doesn't have any acetone in it but it is actually a really easy product to use and you can use it not only to aid in the cleanup of gradients and water marbles but also uh, some there are, are some other applications for it to actually painting you know, different shapes on your nails and anyway I'm going to show you that in a new and different video now the polishes I'm using uh, picture polishes falls gold now as you can see it has these little gold hex glitters in it so you don't want to have those things stuck on your fingers and that's why this liquid palisade is so good for this because you can see all of that gold glitter on my skin which would be really difficult to take off uh, as soon as especially after it dried so I'm just doing a couple of dabs with the fool's gold and I'm also using picture polishes bright white by the way again all the details about everything I use will be in the description box down below now as you can see super simple and super easy to use and came off in one fell swoop no worries now I'm also cleaning up that very very small amount just near my cuticle but not actually on my cuticle before it dries because you do not want that stuff to dry because it would be really awful to take off now to paint Percy the penguin I'm using a calligraphy brush it's a Chinese calligraphy brush which I bought from sharing boo on Instagram again I will put all the details about her on the, in the description box down below so you can go and check her out I bought four of these brushes they're really really good I'm using black acrylic paint to paint Percy and it's basically like a big black egg shape now as you can see I've got a little bit of a scraggly bit right at the bottom and it's just so easy to clean up that's why I love acrylic paint uh, and so you can just clean up any messes it just makes life so much easier I keep saying that and I hope you all believe me because it's really true now once you have your general shape of your sort of black egg shape what you want to do is then come back on either side and paint the little flipper arm things flippers arms flippers arms his name's Percy he's got to have arms well but no it's flippers and next I'm going to come in with some orange really really bright orange acrylic paint and paint his little feet Now once all of that is completely dry I'm going to add a top coat using picture polishes gloss on top and that is because we're going to paint a white tummy. Now while we're waiting for that top coat to dry I'm going to add these cute little gold snowflakes to my pinky and my index. Again details about everything I use will be in the description box down below as per usual. <laughs> okay so once that top coat is dry you can come in with the white acrylic paint and obviously the reason for that top coat is so that the black doesn't bleed in with the white because we want his white tummy to really stand out really really brightly white Now depending on the acrylic paint that you're using you may need to come back in a couple of times just to add uh, coats to that. It's really best to wait for each coat to dry before adding another one. Next we're going to paint in his eyes again using the white acrylic paint. You can use a dotting tool for this. I have no idea why I decided to use a paintbrush to do this. It would have been much easier to use a dotting tool. Now once the white was dry I came in with some black just to add some eyelids and to be honest I kind of regretted that because in the end it just made him look depressed or tired like really really tired and depressed. 
and then using the very tip of the paintbrush to uh, add some pupils which again I wish I had just done with a dotting tool because it would have worked a lot better and in the end I did swap it out for a dotting tool um, pupils and yeah I wasn't really that impressed with them in the end but anyway what are you going to do so we're going to come back in with the orange the same orange we used for his feet to create his beak Now as you can see with his beak I kind of stuffed it up on one side so this is a really good thing come in with a little bit more white and you can crisp up that line and it's perfect. See? Easy. And once Percy's completely dry we can seal him with a good quality top coat and then we're going to go on to Penelope. Now I painted Penelope off camera because you've seen me do Percy and Penelope is pretty much the same. So I'm just showing you how I did her cute little pink bow. We're starting off with some white acrylic paint because I want the pink bow to stand out really, really brightly. Once your white bow is dry, you can go ahead and colour it in whatever colour you like. I'm using pink. And then what you want to do is seal everything in with a good quality top coat and we can move on to the next step of painting Petey and Poppy. Now to paint Petey and Poppy standing in front of Penelope, all you need to do is paint exactly the same uh, shapes as Percy and Penelope, only much smaller. And you can see there, well, I mean, I hope you can see that the reason why we do the top coat after we finish Penelope before we paint Percy and, sorry, not Percy, I'm getting all the <laughs> P names mixed up, Petey and, uh, what's the other name? Poppy and Poppy uh, is because if we make a mistake painting these two little gorgeous little uh, penguins, then we can just wipe it off with some isopropyl alcohol and start again. Now as you can see with Poppy I'm making her slightly um, kind of like a dark grey not black because she's much younger than everybody else and we all know that um, when penguins are young they're kind of like a they're not black they're sort of like a dark grey or a light grey when they're first born so obviously um, whatever her name is Poppy is much younger than Petey because she's a lighter shade of grey than he is but he is still kind of a grey not black like Penelope and Percy anyway gosh it's too confusing isn't it oh I really hope you're enjoying this I'm so sorry very wordy aren't I anyway as you can see I'm painting them exactly the same and yes I did have to put some magnifying glasses on so I could see what I was doing they were so tiny on my nails anyway up to you if you want to do the same thing. You could just do the one penguin. I just made it like way too hard for myself with this. And to be honest, Penelope looks like I how, how I felt when I was painting this because I finished painting it at about three o'clock in the morning. So yes, you should feel sorry for me. No, you shouldn't. I did it to myself.
and once you've done all of that you can seal everything in with a good quality top coat and you totally deserve I don't know a beer a glass of wine a cup of tea something if you've completed this entire nail art yeah you definitely I yeah I just went to bed I think thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time bye chickies I mean thank you for subscribing thanks for that delicious thumbs up bye phew <laughs>